Right everyone, I could have come up that way. I've come up there before. That's if I'd taken that other pathway. There's a longer route if I'd done the fort as well. So I've just come from that way. That takes you to Roadbarrow. Right ahead of me now, the other side of that gate is back down, it's called Area of Outstanding Beauty, or Mendips. And then, of course, you can always branch off because we're not on the top yet. You can go up there, follow on, carry on, follow him. I'm just going straight up over there. I'm not high up though. <coughs> Sometimes I'd go further up and then cross over, but I think I'll do it halfway today. <sighs> yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? That's a lovely scene just down through there, look. So many, so much beauty. So much beauty. And of course last year, or even the autumn, it might not even be that long ago, they were harvesting the bracken and turning them into bells. So I was able to walk straight across without six foot high her, um, ferns everywhere. So it looks very um, landscapes now, doesn't it? If they Are they going to get rid of all the ferns then? It's more like a big lawn, doesn't it? Like I said, all this will be green soon. If I come back again, which I probably will do, one way or another, I might not do the exact route for us. Although this is a good route straight down to the stream. I did a, deliberately did a diversion because I wanted to do the stream I wanted to do the stream. That field there. Mustard. I think it's a mustard field. Really sticks out, doesn't it? Got Bristol Airport over there. Further over. I can see a plane up. Of course, the planes are always taking off from there every couple of minutes. So there we go. That's a little, little part of Roebarrow Warren to do. And like I say, quite often I walk straight up and across. I'm going to do it this way today, though. Wise ways for the wild. And there's a little um thing there. Isn't it beautiful everyone? My beautiful Somerset. Now that they're cultivating the bracken, it does make the whole landscape look different actually. It's easier to navigate now. Much easier. But if it won't grow back, I don't know if it's supposed to grow back. We get the wild ponies up here as well, of course. Now, where I'm walking now, 
on the Blackdown Hills after leaving Robera Warren. And the hill fort will be right over there now. And I have done a a nice gentle walk through the through the wood. I mean before now I've got bogged down in all that down there. It's all part of learning about it though. And um it's all so lovely, really. But I'm actually heading for the trig point. Which is gonna be a good half an hour's walk away, if not more, I'm not sure. At a steady plod like this. A steady plod. It's the 10th of April 2017. Last week I was doing the River Parrot Walk. Paul at West Huntsville, all that sort of thing. I, I'm always up in the woods. And I've got many, many videos that don't even go online. There are diaries that I do, talking diaries. And not everything is of interest to everyone else. But when I'm doing a walk like this, I do include bits of diary. Saves having to write it, doesn't it? But of course it does tie me up, you know, the videos. Getting everything documented and, and saved to disc. And then you have to re-edit re and re-save re on fresh discs every couple of years. That's why I keep a lot online. I keep a lot online. I share them about a lot. I can see some people now sat on the hill. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while. Take some pictures of this beautiful view. I'll zoom down at the church there. Over and out. <sighs>